Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the party. Now guys, in this video, we are going to talk about where the heck is Bianca Sensori West. Let's get into it. In case you're not aware, Ye had a second listening party in a cool China, if, if that's how it's pronounced, right? Now, this listening party was very epic. He had wolf-like figures on stage. He delivered a banging performance. Actually, this listening party is given, um, you know, Danda. That the crowd, that's what it's given. So we know that it was an amazing listening party. So many people are hyped up about it. So many people were on stage with Ye. But what people observe is that Bianca Sensori was nowhere in sight. Now Ye had his usual people around him. He had Oz Taylor. He had 88 Keys. You know, just the regular people that he believes that he can work with and trust. Those people have been in Ye's circle for over the past couple of years. You know, even, can we say even before North was born? You know, like Ty, Dollar Sign and all of that. So we can see that these people were definitely there for the listening party and all of that. But everyone was asking, where's Bianca? We know the last listening party, the one before this, the crowd was there proposing to Bianca. They were chanting, Bianca, will you marry? Marry me, Bianca. Will you marry me? And uh, after that, we've seen the end, Bianca, Bianca and the kids, and all of that. But for some reason, many people have grown concern as to what happened to Bianca. Why is it that she wasn't at this listening event? And we have to take into consideration that, you know, life happens. We don't know if Bianca is feeling um, unwell. We don't know if someone in her family is unwell. We don't know if she may have a loss in the family or anything like that, right? No, I know that you guys have seen reports saying that Ye and Bianca had broken up. And listen, who knows? Who knows? And my reason for th saying this is that Bianca's dad was in town. Was it the ending of August or early September for that listening party? And that man is mafioso. If you know how mafia family rolls, maybe when her father came into town, he did some observation and like, you know what? We cannot get a legacy out of this man. We cannot get the money that we thought we would have gotten from him, okay? Let's back up and go. <laughs> We're moving on to the next chapter. Who knows? I'm not saying that's what he came to town to do. I'm just saying, who knows? You never know because, I mean, many people have looked into Bianca's life and they believe that, you know, Bianca has been mind controlled, not by you, but by the doings of her daddy. So we don't know if that's the case. I'm going to keep it real, but I mean, it can be anything. The girl can be sick. She can be finally with Chal after all our multiple priors and ceremonies that we've been doing on here and other channel. We've been praying and celebrating for baby West. Maybe that bun is finally in the oven, okay? And she's resting on somewhere. We really don't know. We really haven't gotten any, any information. And it's not the first that we're seeing Bianca missing in action. And she normally comes back, but... Has she ever been missing for a listening party? I don't think so. Or it could be that, you know, she was there, but they were tactful this time around in how she appears. No one was able to capture any images of her. But we were able to see images of Ye, you know, heading back into China again. And everyone is saying that they think that the real Ye is back in the Matrix because he looks fresh, he looks healthy, he looks more present than ever. They're saying, this is the Ye we're accustomed to. He should have put a few pounds. You know, I told you guys that he was working out the last time. His complexion appears to be back to normal. Hey, complexion is a really tricky, tricky thing for black people. Our complexion, it just switches up. It comes, it goes, it comes, it... It has like three shades, four shades. Some of us may even have six. I don't know how much I have at this point, right? So what I'm saying is that Ye is looking a lot lighter in complexion. Seems as though he's working out more, he's exercising more. And you know, when you eat those, you know, fruits and veggies, depending on the fruits and vegetables that he's eating, you know, that will help to brighten up his complexion. But 
you can just tell that the man is good. He's in a good space, mind, body, spirit, and everything. He's really in a good place. But his wife is out of sight, out of mind. I mean, chances are maybe she just needs a break. She's tired. Who knows what's going on? We don't know. <laughs> but I never believe the media, okay? The media always has some negativity going on, something toxic going on. And besides, Ye and Bianca is close to their second anniversary. And let's say they don't make it to the second anniversary. Let's say they don't make it. They have lasted longer than a lot of the celebrity couples in Hollywood. And I think that if they don't last any longer, I do believe that it is for the best reason. Everything is a chapter in our life. And some people, they're there for a moment. Some people, they're there to last us a lifetime. I believe as time passes, we're going to know, is Bianca still here? Because we know that she loves to pop up back like Jack in the Box. She's gonna, She's just going to pop up, okay? We're going to see them going to dinner or something, okay? <laughs> and that's what I believe. But guys, that's really all we have to share in this video with you all. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, share, stay sweet, stay safe, stay blessed, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.